Those are just a really, really, really gym crack um, eval board I'm building for the ACS 713 for my uh, MPPD project. That little tiny thing right there, that yeah, lighting sucks. Um, that little tiny thing right there is the ACS 713 for scale. That is my finger. And those little tiny dots right there are about 50 mils on center. There's to do something I'm building out of a little one inch change inch square of uh, this uh, sheet of uh, one ounce and square foot uh, single sided uh, PCB material I got from Jameco on a previous order for pretty much building things like this. This is just a little experimentation board for the ACS 713 device. Because I'm not going to go to all the trouble to just etch a circuit board. This is just something that I cut up with a, uh, a literally carved with a little um, Arbor Freight Drill Master little Dremel thingy. This thing tends to get bad reviews for the low torque, but that's largely because this grossly overloads the stock wall transformer. I've, 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 I, <coughs> I just have this hooked up to a. Um, a uh, little 12 volt extension cord running to the 12 volt cigarette lighter receptacles I've got around here and it's just running off my uh, PV system battery bank and I've got the um, bypass caps or I've got the uh, 5 volt bypass cap that's uh, they recommend a um, 0 0.1 microfarad one in the documentation there there's a schematic on the front of the data sheet but um, I don't have a 0 0.1 microfarad faster handy so that's something get another thing to order and um, so I'm just using this little 0 0.22 microfarad capacitor since for these values isn't really super critical and then I've got the um, uh, 47 nanofarad um, capacitors a uh, bag of 100 of them from a uh, digi key And the very fine solder that's uh, 15 mil diameter again, proper lead, 60% uh, tin, 40% lead, none of this gross garbage. Because generally, when things like that are specific, or when regulations like that specifically exempt stuff that will kill people if it fails, that's generally not a sign that it's a very good thing. Oh, and speaking of a regula oh, and speaking of stupid regulations, for those of you out there who aren't stocking up on proper PAR38 lamps or PAR lamps in general, do so. Because the turds and the biggest little whorehouse on the Potomac are banning them as of July 14th. So, stock up now. And these are just my soldering iron. These are these little 8 watt job I got from Marlon P. Jones. And this is also from Marlon P. Jones. Fanatic for years. It's um, the 15H60TL, but the, um, even though I got a 132nd uh, inch tip for it, it's slightly on the big side for some of the really fine things. But again, this is just a really hash slapped together board that I just carved up in a couple minutes. So. I turn it to a 64 spot. That's the entire process of carving the thing, so that's it for now. This is the finished ACS 713 evaluation board. Little one inch and change PCB with uh, wires and stuff soldered onto it. These two are from this old uh, a uh, wiring harness out of, I think, a dead either washing machine or, or dishwasher dryer or some something I scrapped many years ago. One of the advantages of having all this kind of crap around is that it saves cost of uh, buying wires and stuff. Oh, and by the way, Samantha, if you're watching this, that pissing contest we got into over whose bedroom was messier, I win. But, anyways. 
So anyways, this is just the finished evaluation board. It's uh, there's the HDF713 right there. Little tiny SLI C8 uh, package device. That's a 220 nanofarad um, bypass cap for the um, 5 volt supply, which is on the red wire. There's a black wire, which is the signal out from the device. And that little blue thingy, which is the 47 nanofarad uh, filter capacitor, because this does have um, some built in fil uh, noise, noise suppression and filtering and stuff. And that's it. This little PCB snap pad for about an hour's work. Considering that the project is going to take substantially longer than that as a whole.